But how important is it to the Arsenal side? Because you're talking about goals as the most important aspect. OK, but you've got Lacazette and you've got Aubameyang who can both score goals. If one is out, the other can play. Who else can actually do what Torreira does well? In, in, well, in that team. In this in, Arsenal, in this side Arsenal right now, team, nobody. Would you say he's the most important player? For me, he's the most important player this season for Arsenal. And that's why I think Arsenal are doing so well. Because when you look at the first two games of the season when he didn't play, that's the two games Arsenal lost. I know it was against Chelsea and Man City, but since he's been in the team, Arsenal's been a completely different team. He's, like I said earlier on, we've got two wing backs that love to go forward, leaving the two centre back really exposed. And he's the one that covers up for yeah. any of them guys at any time. Yeah. You see him on the left, on the right, he's, he's just everywhere. And as a striker, as a forward, you know if you give the ball away and you're looking back along the pitch and you're thinking the team are, that you're playing against are counter-attacking, he nicks the ball very quickly, you know you can just stay on the halfway line, be on the half turn, ready to make your run into the, the opponent's half. Arsenal, in other words, can now turn defence into attack very, very quickly and all of the best teams in. You've seen um, what Manchester City do in particular. It might only be against the very, very best teams in, in Europe or in the Premier League, we see what players like Fernandinho do and Golo Kante does for Chelsea, is that when teams are going at them and you nick the ball unexpectedly, then you can use your offensive weapons very, very well. And Arsenal have done that well this season. And I'm sure it harks back to some of the players that you were with. The importance of your Petits, your Gibertos, etc. Well, it's, it's the middle, you know, it's, it's kind of the, the middle of the, of the team, you know, and them guys are so important in the team. Like, like Stan said, how quick from defending you can attack and, and that's how, what them guys used to do you know Gilberto Vieira can they in the compare, middle can he compare to them can he hold the candle I, I them, actually you think if he carries on like, like he's doing at the moment for sure he'll be in the same category but you know when we talk about at that time we had two we had Vieira and Gilberto that could both do pretty much the same job and, and both could go forward with the ball he's I'm not going to say he's on his own but you know he, if we had somebody next to him as, as strong as, as he is, then, then Arsenal would definitely have an, an extra advantage as well. You see as well the, the, the difference in a, a, a physical and a technical role of the likes of Gilberto and, pa and Patrick Vieira. They were big physical presences, but also they were very good technically and they were very mobile and could read the game well. The, the defensive midfielder has got smaller and smaller. If we were playing in 1995 rules, Vieira would eat Torreira and N'Golo Kante all day long. But you just see now with the rule changes, you need to be small, you need to be mobile, you need to be smart.